if you want to be driving to beautiful places and then hit the road or hit the trails this is the video for you basically two parts of the video number one i'm going to resume all the testing i've done of different types of bike racks and how you can transport your uh, your bikes outside your car on the car behind the car and inside the car i'm going to give you the tips i have uh, i have created uh, and the second one will be longer you don't have to watch that it will be a more detailed guide of how you put those bikes some problems you're gonna stumble upon so this is the second uh, part in the first part I'm gonna just do it very very quickly so first of all very simple tip for you guys if you want to be driving your car with the bikes often and or you have heavy bikes tow bar is the way to go for a couple of reasons number one it is extremely easy and quick to put your bike rack on your tow bar that's number one number two it's extremely easy and much better with the heavy e-bikes to put them here rather than there or inside your car even it is just much better number three it's much more aerodynamic there are some compli complications with the parking but i'm going to give you one very simple tip about parking lots and such a long long vehicle <laughs> all right so often heavy bikes and just if you love driving the car to nice places this is the way to go it's also the best for your back yeah back meaning your Ooh, you're back okay and then we've got the roof and here I'm gonna present to you two ways of transporting the bikes uh, I have chosen the the absolute worst and non-standard frames so that you will see what problems you might have let's hit this one this is probably one of the most standard ways to transport the bike on uh, the roof of your car meaning you've got your bike rack with this arm and the arm will clamp around your down tube or in this case the only tube i was able to put this little electric bike this e-bike on this bike rack i was not sure any of my systems will be uh, actually compatible but see, but yes it is so this is the most convenient probably this is the most standard and maybe i would say this is the most popular uh, and it just works but your bike will be higher you will have less aerodynamics if you ride pretty fast on the high roads you will see higher uh, fuel consum consumption much higher fuel consumption if you ride fast also in this case the front wheel might be getting some vibrations and in some cases even for those fast driving drivers you can even damage your headset there are some systems though to stabilize your front wheel even better than this tape uh, but just bear in mind that this standard bike rack might have this problem how can you know whether you will or you won't have this problem you need to put your bike with your design your shapes and hit the road with your car with your aerodynamics and your speed and then you will know so that's the only way to know uh, but it's pretty good uh, i'm usually not driving faster than 90 kilometers per hour so, yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> yavim is the polish word guys maybe maybe 100 kilometers per hour so like 65 miles per hour or something so, <laughs> so this is number one number two much more stable and just better for those weird designs of your bikes if you don't have any choice to clamp any way to clamp your frame you just use your fork advantages number one you can mount here pretty much any type of the bike it can be quick release it can be through axle here number two it is much more stable than this design your bike will not be getting that vibration uh, but then the uh, problem with it is that you need to transport your front wheel separately which is not a big of a deal on the pickup truck on a big car on the compact car or suv suvs don't have uh, much space for the luggage usually 
uh, that would be disadvantage. Just remember, if you have still such kind of brakes, such type of brakes, V-brakes or caliper brakes, just make sure you close them because otherwise they will be just fluffing uh, uh, on the wind, they might be hitting the fork. So that's, that's a little tip. Okay, and then here you need to know how to plan putting all these bikes. This is the rack for three bikes, but there's also option, additional option for the one extra bike, usually kids bike, but I would say putting here a road bike, standard road bike will be also okay. Uh, you need to plan how these arms will be put. You need to thread those through the other bikes and you need to protect the bikes against each other. More about that in the uh, guide part because we are already hitting six minutes and then pickup truck is great for simply putting the bike like this. Uh, my cross-country full suspension bike with 27.5 inch wheels will also get like this but will have this uh, derailleur, uh, this uh, handlebar a little bit bent. If it's 29er it might be difficult or impossible. Longer 29er uh, bikes uh, will, will just make you, force you to uh, remove one of the wheels. Of course you can, you can put uh, your bikes through uh, the tailgate, uh, you need to uh, put something, some kind of protection on the tailgate, but also usually these bikes will be rubbing this part of the fork, uh, which is the upper leg, against that protection. You might damage your upper leg, um, which is very bad for your bike, so make sure the bike is clean and that protection you put on the tailgate is also clean. You can also, if you have a van, you can also transport the bikes inside. If you know uh, cars like Volkswagen Caddy, for example, if you buy the longer Maxi version, I have Fiat Doblo, but Maxi, the longer one, it, uh, it will actually fit uh, the, the full 29er inch uh, bike between the tailgate and the uh, oh, sorry, and the chair of uh, of the driver, right? The seat, the seat. Because of course, if you have also the second row of the seats, you need to either fold them or remove one, or remove one of them to put the bike like this. But in terms of the length, just have Volkswagen uh, Caddy as the example. In the maxi version, longer one, you can put the whole bike without bending. Uh, the handlebars, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to remove the bikes from the car, how to remove the bike rack from your tow bar and how to put them back because it might be a little tricky so this is it for the simple review and now the guide part. We're starting with the standard thing. We are having our bike on the roof. Just remember that if you have the bike on the roof you cannot go into the underground <laughs> uh, parking lots. First, the wheels. I'm gonna free the wheels once they are free to go. Uh, each part of these bike racks can be uh, locked with a, uh, with a little key. Now I'm just pushing a little button right here. It goes automatically and now I need to stabilize my my hands around this frame because this bike is this is still an e-bike so maybe 14 kilograms and then i remove it it looks pretty simple but if the bike is heavy i don't recommend putting there enduro e-bikes the second system as i said very stable uh, the bike also will be a little bit lower than the bike with the front wheel so maybe if you have very high gate to your to your garage maybe you'd be able to drive through but i don't think so okay and now i'm releasing this quick release or lever for the fork and once i see it's free i'm gonna grab the bike and get it off the roof Okay, now you're with me on the roof. 
this bike weighs maybe 10 kilograms without the front wheel so I'm okay with putting it up here now I will just fasten the front which is the fork and then this part can move you just adjust it according to the length of your bike when you do it a couple of times it becomes easy for you okay and then there's a little clutch here so that you cannot over tighten it great this bike ready and stable this is my Fido e-bike it is perfect for exploring when you go somewhere but you need to know how to fit it here and <laughs> maybe there is no such a thing as a man's job and a woman's job but I would say this is not a woman's job <laughs> this is with this bike I don't know four, 14 and a half kilograms it's not perfect for women to do it okay this one also has a clutch and this bike is a little bit too short for this system but it can still work and I can still transport the bike with this system safely bad assembly of your bikes on the on the car can be very dangerous that's it okay something I don't like too much about this particular bicycle rack is that these parts are too much lightweight because they bend especially here at the front maybe you see it uh, when one bike starts to swing the other will too because this is this should be stiffer it's aerodynamic that's cool but this should be stiffer otherwise easy to put on easy to lock and protect nobody will steal your bike rack nobody will steal your bicycles great let's go to the back pretty much the same although a little bit more complicated because these three bags are kind of together here so first of course the outer side the outer um, bicycle I always prefer using gloves here because you will always touch the chain or just dirty wheel or something and then I'm gonna be driving with these hands okay and what I did here I put additional stabilizing thing between these two and then comes the bike okay easy right very similar with the second one here's the straps and then this are okay this is really cool because once you get your bike off of it you can simply pull it and remove it from your bike rack I like it removed and pull pull done okay I'm not lifting the e-bike I'm letting the e-bike kind of ride off this bike rack which it does actually and then the third bike rides off and we are done let's put those on the rack it's good to prepare the straps first some bike racks will have even special hooks for them just to keep them in place and now you need to figure out how to clamp your precious frame not too strong now you need to know a couple of things uh, in which position those pedals should be and which bike comes next because uh, if you don't plan it you're going to be putting those removing and uh, getting getting angry <laughs> about it so i've done it a couple of times i know how to put those back of course the second bike will come with the handlebars on the left side but here it will be important how i how i set these 
pedals of this bike all right and it should be like this and this should be like that okay and we are we are good now now comes this mounting arm and the second one this one fits this one is okay this is not perfect though but it's okay the wheels the pedals should not move I don't know I didn't get this rubber protection the same as uh, on the on the roof the rack I have on the roof because this will probably make scratches now the third one comes and this is the only standard type of the frame as you can see my pedal moved here and it's it's no good it's not in a good position see this is why you don't want to forget about it on or you don't want to let the pedals move All right. This rack is designed for three bikes with addition of the fourth one. This is the part you can buy um, separately. And then you do not connect the fourth bike with with that mounting but you connect the fourth one with the third one and this is something i'd like to to have between all of my bikes so i'm actually using this to put it here these two bikes are stable but this one and the first one will tend to hit each other this would be nice for all of the bikes and if you ask me Dan how do you transport your bike on the pickup truck I transport the bike right here if I had two bikes I'm gonna buy protection for the tailgate and just hang them over the tailgate uh, on my little van Fiat Doblo I put them inside because that's the most convenient mo most aerodynamic and fast quick way for somebody who drives with the bikes a lot and maybe doesn't have huge car a big car the tow bar plus the bike rack on the back is great parking how do you park such a car if the parking space is ending with some nice grass you can go backwards and have your car on a parking lot on the parking space and the bike rack over the grass if there is no such option you just you, you just cannot park because the the car with these bikes is much longer I could not park it park it going forward I only go backwards and have this over some nice grass and that's what I think would be most practical knowledge and tips for you about transporting the bikes if it was just give me some thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye